You guys know I love exploring the latest AI goodness, and today we've got a real treat. We're going to be talking about a new AI video tool that's doing some incredibly cool, next-level stuff. Imagine being able to create videos featuring a specific person or character doing exactly what you want just by using a mix of images, text, audio, or even other videos and having that character stay perfectly consistent. This is fast becoming a reality with a new tool called Hunyuan Custom. Now, tools this powerful often sound like they need a supercomputer, right? And we will talk about what it takes to run the full setup locally if you've got the hardware. But here's a little something to really get you excited. I'm also going to show you how I got to test drive a version of this myself. And the best part? I'll be sharing how you might be able to play around with some of its awesome features for free and from what I've seen, pretty much unlimited for now, all without needing one of those super beefy GPUs. So, what exactly is Hunyuan Custom? Well, it's cooked up by the wizards at Tencent, specifically their Hunyuan team, and it's not just your average text-to-video generator. This thing is a sophisticated multimodal-driven framework, which is a fancy way of saying it's built for customized video generation. That means it's all about creating videos that star a consistent subject, whether that's a person, your pet, or even an object, all based on what you feed it. It takes the foundation of Tencent's existing Hunyuan video tech and kicks it up a big notch by really focusing on keeping that character looking the same and giving you a ton more ways to control the output. The main goal here is to leapfrog some of the common headaches in AI video, like when your main character's face seems to change every few seconds, or when you just can't quite get the AI to do what you want. With Hunyuan Custom, the idea is you can give it a picture of someone and then use text prompts, a sound clip, or even another video to direct what that person does, what they say, or how they show up in a completely new scene. We're talking virtual try-ons, making a still photo burst into song with an audio track, or even smoothly swapping characters or items in videos you've already got. Now, let's get to the really exciting stuff, the examples, because honestly, this AI is freaking legendary. Hunyuan Custom is a super powerful way to get reference characters or objects into your videos. So, check this out. If we give it this photo of a girl and then tell it, the girl plays house with plush toys in the living room, this is what we get. Look how accurately it generates the girl. She looks exactly like the reference photo. Or here's one that's even more impressive. Let's say we have this input image, and for the prompt, she is taking a selfie in a busy street. She holds a smartphone in one hand and makes a peace sign with the other. The background is a bustling street scene, and boom, that is what we get. Plus, notice how her outfit and the text Hunyuan on her shirt stay consistent through the whole video. This is insanely good quality. It's not just people either. If we upload this image of a poodle and then write, a dog is chasing a cat in the park, that is indeed what we get. Plus, you can upload multiple reference images to add to your video. So here, we have this woman holding a paintbrush and drawing a picture of the cat, and that is exactly what it generates. Here we have a dude presenting the chips in his hand beside a swimming pool, and both the dude and the bag of chips look exactly like the reference photos. Here on a modern city street, a man asks a woman for directions, but she doesn't understand what he's saying, and this is what we get. And of course, with such a powerful reference tool, you can also do a full character swap. So here we have this woman wearing this hanfu while reading a book in the study room. Look how accurately it portrays the woman, plus the hanfu, like... All the details are exactly like the reference photos. And it gets even crazier. You can even plug in an existing video and change parts of it. So, let's say we have this input video. Well, we can get him to wear this hat instead. And this is our final result. How cool is that? Here's another example where we have this reference video, and if we want to swap out the teddy bear with this husky plushie, that is indeed what we get. Note how seamless and accurate it does the swap. This is so impressive. Here are some more examples. So you can see, with this tool, consistent characters in videos are finally here. All you need is a reference photo, and you can get that character to wear any outfit, be in any setting, and do anything. I mean, within the next few months, I predict that we're going to see full AI-generated short films that actually look good, with consistent characters and a good storyline. Check out these additional examples of having multiple reference images in a video, and I really like this one. This looks like a legit boxing fight with a panda. Like, they are actually sparring with pretty fast punches. Super cool. And, as you might have guessed, 
this tool is going to transform the advertising industry. You don't need to hire any actors or any videographers or anything like that. You just need a photo of the model or character and then a photo of the product and then you can get them to do anything with the product in a video. Here's another cute example of a dude with a penguin. By the way, aren't penguins like the cutest things ever? Here's another example of an insane video swap. Let's say we want to swap this left clownfish in the reference video with this white fish over here. It pulls this off seamlessly. And you can even do this for anime characters, like this. Notice it swaps only the character while preserving all the other details, like the text in the video. Oh, did you think we were done yet? We're not done yet. This also can do lip sync. Let's say we have this reference photo of a woman, and we prompt her to be in a dressing room holding a lipstick. We can also add an audio clip to this, and it would lip sync her to the audio. Let's hear what this sounds like. 气质瞬间提升 Absolutely unreal. Here's another example where we get this image of a man to be at a store counter holding a mechanical watch. And if we add an audio clip to this, here's what that looks like. 送礼物选他呀,机械手表,高端大气,上档次,超亮眼 This is such an insane tool. Here's another example where we get this woman to hold a cake in a bakery. And if we input some audio, here's what that would sound like. 宝子们造型精美的蛋糕 Here's another example. I have no idea what he's saying, but he seems pretty passionate about it. So, how does Hunyuan Custom actually manage all this cool stuff? It's pretty brainy, but the basic idea is it takes that solid Hunyuan video foundation and adds some special secret sauce. When you give it an image and some text, it uses a clever system to really understand how your picture and your words relate to each other, making sure the character you want stays looking like themselves. It's got a way of locking onto the identity from your image and carrying that through all the video frames. And for making your characters talk or react to sounds, it has a smart part, they call it AudioNet, that syncs up the audio you provide with what you see on screen, so the lip movements and actions match up. If you're using it to change parts of an existing video, it's got another module that cleverly blends in the new bits, like your custom character, into the original footage. It's all about taking these different inputs, your text, pictures, sounds, or other videos, and mashing them together in a smart way so the final video looks coherent and, most importantly, keeps your main subject looking right. Alright, so you're probably thinking, this is awesome, can I run it? Let's talk about what it takes. The great news is the Tencent team has actually released the code and the models. You can find the models over on Hugging Face, and their GitHub repo has all the instructions on how to run it. This is huge for the community. However, and it's a pretty big however right now, this thing is a beast. The material from their showcases suggests that even the low-resolution version ideally wants a whopping 60 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, 60 gigabytes. They apparently tested it on a machine kitted out with 8 NVIDIA GPUs, which gives you an idea of the power we're talking about. Now, it's also been mentioned that you might be able to get it to run on something like 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but expect it to be incredibly slow. So, while technically possible for some, for most of us, running it smoothly locally is probably a non-starter at the moment, without some serious hardware. That being said, because it's open source, the community is usually super quick to jump on these things. People will likely work hard on ways to quantize or compress the model to get it running much more efficiently on lower VRAM. We've seen this happen before with other tools that use Hunyuan tech, like Framepack, which originally needed that hefty 60 gigabytes, but can now run on as low as 4 gigabytes of VRAM thanks to community optimizations. So, fingers crossed, it's probably only a matter of time before Hunyuan Custom becomes more accessible for everyday users. Alright, so you've seen the amazing demos on their project page, and you're probably wondering, can I actually try this thing out myself without selling a kidney for a new GPU? Well, let's investigate. So, if you head over to the Hunyuan Custom project page, right at the top, you'll usually find links to their GitHub and a hugging face space. There is an option that said, Try it now. So, of course, I clicked on it. This takes you to what seems to be their playground. First thing, you'll likely need to sign up, which you can do with your email. Quick heads up, 
When I landed there, it was all in Chinese. If that happens to you and you're using Chrome, just right click and hit translate to English and voila, problem solved. Once you're in and the page is translated, you'll see the main interface. The interface is pretty straightforward. You've got a spot to upload your reference image. This is key for that consistent character. Then there's a prompt box for what you want your character to do, a spot for negative prompts if you need them, and you can pick your aspect ratio. There's also a toggle for sound effects, which I just kept off for these tests, and an option for prompt enhancement. If you turn that on, it presumably tweaks your prompt a bit for better results. Okay, so for my first test I thought, let's try something recognizable. I uploaded an image of Donald Trump. My image was up, and I typed in the prompt, he is dancing on a busy beach. Then I hit the generate now button. You can see a little progress bar showing the percentage. It looked like it was chugging along. I figured it would probably take about three or four minutes. But plot twist. After a bit, I got an error message. Something like, the input does not conform to the rules. Please check the required items. Long story short, it seems like there's some pretty heavy censorship, or at least restrictions, on using photos of well-known public figures like celebrities. So, lesson learned. Famous faces might be a no-go here. No worries. Plan B. I switched out the image and used an AI-generated face instead for my reference. This time, for the prompt, I kept it simple. She is dancing on a beach. While that was cooking, I noticed something cool. This platform, at least when I was using it, seemed to be completely free. No talk of credits, no daily generation limits that I could see. Just sign up with your email and go. Can't say if it'll stay that way, but for now, that's a big plus. All right, for this one, my prompt was, she is dancing on a beach. Let's take a look. Okay, not bad. Actually, it's pretty good. The movement is quite normal, and most importantly, her face stays consistent with the reference image. The dance moves are fine. No weird glitches there. So far, so good. Next up, I tried, she is walking a dog in a park wearing a white t-shirt. Here's the video. Hmm. Okay, you can kind of see the dog's mouth off to the side, but it's barely there. And the bigger thing is, the white t-shirt part of the prompt, totally ignored. So, I hit retry with the exact same prompt. Let's see the second attempt. Alright, this one's a bit better for the dog. You can clearly see her holding and walking it. But the shirt? Still no luck. It's like she has some cloth wrapped around her, but definitely not the t-shirt I asked for. So... This generation wasn't perfect. Good character consistency, but it struggled with the clothing details. Okay, let's try another. This time, the prompt was, she is riding a horse in a busy street. And here's the result. Wow, okay, this one is excellent. Look at that. She's on the horse, the horse's movement looks natural, and her body moves with it realistically. And check out the background. It's nicely blurred, and as she gets closer, the blur increases, kind of like you'd expect from a real camera. This is a really good one. Very impressive. Then I decided to throw a really long, detailed prompt at it. A woman takes a selfie in a busy city. A woman holds a smartphone in one hand and makes a peace sign with the other. The background is a bustling street scene with various signs and pedestrians. Let's see how it handled all that. Okay, we've got the busy, bustling street, but there are definitely some issues here. Watch closely. At the start of the video, it looks like she's holding a phone in each hand. Then, a mysterious third hand pops out of nowhere making a victory sign. After that, one phone vanishes, and she makes the peace sign with that hand. So yeah, some definite weirdness there. The video quality didn't quite match the prompt's complexity. It's not perfect, and honestly, some other video generators might handle a prompt like this a bit better. Next I tried, a woman is listening to music and cooking snail noodles in the kitchen. Here's what it came up with. Look at that. It's generated in slow motion, which is interesting. But she isn't actually cooking. There's no flame under the pan, it's just sitting on a table with noodles in it. And instead of headphones, it seems like music is just playing openly while she dances in slow-mo. Overall, it's not a terrible generation. The video itself is pretty decent, but it missed the mark on the cooking part and the headphones. Let's try a more artistic one. In a music rehearsal room, a woman holds a violin, concentrating on playing. The melodious sound reverberates within. And here's the video. Okay. This is nice. A perfect video, I'd say. She's holding and playing the violin, and the movements look really convincing. It genuinely feels like she's playing. This is a very good generation, in my opinion. Finally, I wanted to really test the outfit changing again. So, I used the prompt. A woman wearing hanfu is reading a book in the study room. And this is what I got. 
Okay, she's in a study room, she's got a book, she's reading, all that's fine. But the dress. I specifically asked for Hanfu, but she's wearing the exact same outfit that was in the original reference image. So, it didn't change the dress. That seems to be a recurring issue if the reference already has distinct clothing. So, after all that testing, what's the verdict on this particular playground version? It looks like this platform, right now, focuses on the Hunyuan custom style of single image reference for consistent characters. I didn't see options to upload multiple reference images, or use a video as a reference, or even input audio for lip syncing or driving the animation, features that the broader Hunyuan custom framework aims to support. It is definitely doing the custom consistent character part, but as we saw, it's not quite perfect yet. Especially with things like following specific clothing prompts, if the reference image is too dominant. It feels like it needs a bit more polish and improvement, but hopefully, we'll see an updated version soon. If you want to try it out yourself, and remember when I used it, it was free and didn't seem to have limits, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out.